like a two-part video because we've had some exciting updates to our mop system um, since I filmed the other part of the video. So um, I just want to show you all the different like pieces and options and attachments because they're it's like so versatile and so interchangeable. It's really great. So our new favorite thing is the spray mop attachment. So you put water in here and it sprays on the floor for you on the go. Um, I usually get my wet mop pad wet at the sink and then it Velcros to the bottom. Oops. And then to spray it, all you do is you push downward on the handle and then it sprays and then you just mop right there. It's literally so easy. Um, my sister-in-law has um, like middle schoolers, teenagers, and so she always worries about them getting the pad too wet for their hardwood floors, so the spray is perfect because it kind of like portions that water. Um, okay, also a new exciting update. We have these ginormous, <laughs> ginormous extra large mop pads. So I'm gonna show you, um, it has a new base on it that's also super long. I mean, we're just all about working smarter and not harder so why not cover more square footage if you can um so i'm going to show you let's see this is the extra large compared to i don't know what it's called now the large or the standard okay and then i'm going to show you um the small one this is a window mop pad which also connects to the handheld system so you can use it on your window. So there are a lot of um, interchangeable pieces. Another favorite is the Chanel one. This is the same material as the Enviro wand. Really great for dust bunnies around the house. Um, and then the Enviro wand also can be attached to your mop. So you take the mop head off, detach this handle, and then you have your Enviro wand and you can bend it to do your ceiling fans. Um, we have a really high ceiling, so sometimes um, one of the kids like balloons will get up there and we just put this on our mop handle and then use it to get it down. Um, let's see what else I can show you. So this is for windows, inside or you know indoors or outdoors. Um, we also use, we live in Tennessee now, so we have a screened in patio and I used it last spring with the wet mop pad to clean the screens and it was incredible. Um, let's see what else. Oh, the rubber brush. I know that Trisha has used this because she lives where it snows a lot <laughs> and um, one side is like a squeegee and then the other side is just like rubber brush so you can use it you can use it to clean up big messes on the floor or water or snow off your deck um, you can use it on your car um, and it just detaches right here to the mop base and then this is like a middle piece you can also take this out um, let's see what else I can tell you and then we also have when you have the mop system, you always want the rubber brush. So it's the handheld rubber brush, but it's the same kind of bristles. And that's what you use to stay tuned for the next part of the video. Details, but I'm gonna keep this one super basic, okay? So when you get your mop, it'll come with the pole, it'll come with the base, it will come with two pads. First of all, you attach your base to the handle and then the mop pads are labeled. So one says dry, it's a little bit fuzzier. The other one says wet, it's a little bit thinner. So the dry one, you're gonna start with that. And this is gonna be instead of um, sweeping or vacuuming your hard floors. And this can be on tile or any like hard flooring. Um, it's really important, so it just Velcros on. Um, it's really important to push the stuff around. So. You're just gonna get under all the crevices and then you actually just kind of um, swivel it back and forth. So 
So kind of like that. Kind of swivel it that way. Um, if you have anything like if your kids did arts and crafts or they're really messy or you have like big chunks of trash or anything like that, it will keep all of it in front of the mop here. Um, and then when you get to the trash can, if you do have some really large um, pieces of food or trash or whatever, you can use a small little dustpan. I got this at the dollar store if you need it. Um, otherwise, everything else is going to be just stuck to your mop pad. And then that's when you're going to use your rubber brush, okay? So I'm not going to do it over the floor here, but I'm just going to show you. So sweep all over, swivel all back and forth and then go over your trash can or outside and you just brush everything off. So I usually do about halfway, down, 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 brush, 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 and then I flip it over and I brush the other side into the trash can, okay? When you're dry mopping, it's really important to keep it on the floor. So you're not gonna use it like a sweeping motion, um, more just like a swivel, swivel, okay? And then for the wet mop pad, all you do is get it wet and then um, wring it out. So I usually, so get it wet first and then I kind of squeeze it like this and kind of wring it out like this. Um, wring it out pretty well. You'll kind of get an idea about how much like wetness you need for your floor depending on how dirty it is. And um, then you just switch it out. So everything's Velcro. So you Velcro and pretend this is wet and I just go back and forth. So just like this. And the handle is adjustable, so if you're shorter, if you're taller, it's supposed to be at about your chin. And you shouldn't be bending over, so you should be um, just mopping just like this. And you can use the handle for some leverage, or you can flip it over and use this handle to get like scuff marks off the ground. Um, if you have a lot of square footage in your house, you might want to rinse your mop pad in between. So when you're mopping, you want to use cold water. But when you're rinsing it out, you want to rinse it out with warm water. So I just get the water really warm and I just rub it like this back and forth under the water, just really warm because that um, releases the fibers and then the yucky stuff like rinses out a lot better. So really warm water, rinse it out and then squeeze it out like that again. And then um, if I'm gonna mop more my floor, I'll switch it to cold water because cold water is going to constrict the fibers and then it's going to pick up stuff better because um, they're tighter and closer together. Okay, um, I think that's it. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, and I hope everyone has a great holiday and great Christmas. Oh, also when you're done, when you're done, rinse it in warm, wring it out, and hang it to dry by the tag. So this has the back lock in it, the micro silver. So it's going to self sanitize and self purify. So it's just really important to um, hang it to dry, maybe get a couple hooks in your laundry room or pantry or wherever you're gonna keep your mop closet. Um, and it'll self purify, self sanitize. I probably wash these two mop pads, honestly, probably like once a month. Um, it depends on how often you mop how dirty your floors are. We only have a little dog, so if you have a big dog that's really dirty, or I don't know if you wear all your shoes inside and it gets really dirty, you might wanna wash it more frequently, but you can kinda of see um, what works for you, okay? So thank you guys, and we'll talk soon.